So, you think you know DC, huh? You've hit the National Mall, braved the crowds at the Air and Space Museum, maybe even dodged a selfie stick or two outside the White House? Look, I'm not here to judge, but let me ask you something. Have you ever wandered off the tourist trail, dived into the back alleys and side streets where the real heart of the city beats, places where the tourists rarely tread, where the locals go to escape the madness, to grab a bite, to find a moment of peace, places where the city's soul shines through, raw and unfiltered? So, come on, let's ditch the guidebook, forget the itinerary, and get happily lost. Let's uncover the hidden gems of this town, one delicious, unexpected bite at a time. We all get it. The monuments are impressive. The weight of history, the grandeur, the sheer audacity of it all. But let's be honest, after a while, it all starts to feel a bit sterile. Like a museum exhibit. Perfectly preserved, but lacking a certain pulse. Look, I'm not saying you should skip the Lincoln Memorial or give the Washington Monument a pass. But what I am saying is that the real DC, the one that breathes and sweats and tells stories, exists beyond the shadow of these granite giants. It's in the neighborhoods, the dives, the places where the locals go to escape the tourist hordes. It's the aroma of Ethiopian spices that hits you as you wander down a nondescript street in Adams Morgan. It's the smoky allure of a back alley blues bar in Shaw, where the music spills out onto the street raw and soulful. It's the quiet murmur of conversation in a dimly lit bookshop in DuPont Circle, a haven for the intellectually curious. These are the places where you'll find the true character of DC, the grit and the grace, the hustle and the heart. Places where history isn't something you read about in a textbook, but something you feel in the very walls, in the stories etched on the faces of the people you meet. So how do you find these hidden gems? Well, that's the beauty of it. Sometimes it's about ditching the map and letting your curiosity be your guide. Take a wrong turn, get lost in the maze of streets, Talk to the locals, ask them where they go for a good meal, a stiff drink, or a dose of local flavor. Because the truth is, the best experiences, the ones that stay with you long after you've left, are often the ones you stumble upon when you least expect them. So be open to the unexpected. Let DC surprise you. Let's be straight up. Navigating the throngs of tourists at the National Mall can feel like an extreme sport. You're dodging selfie sticks, battling for a glimpse of the Hope Diamond, all while trying to ignore the nagging feeling that you're experiencing the city through the lens of a thousand other people's Instagram feeds. Don't get me wrong, these iconic landmarks hold their own kind of magic, but it's easy to get caught up in the tourist machine, ticking off boxes on your itinerary while missing the soul of the city that beats just beyond the well-trodden path. The beauty of DC lies in its contradictions. It's a city of power and politics, yes, but it's also a city of artists and activists, dreamers and doers. To truly experience it, you need to venture beyond the postcard-perfect facade and discover the hidden gems that tell the story of the real DC. Let's duck into cozy jazz clubs, where the music washes over you like a warm wave. Let's get lost in the stacks of independent bookstores filled with the scent of old paper and new ideas. Let's discover hidden gardens tucked away in unexpected corners, offering a moment of tranquility amidst the urban chaos. Think of it this way, the tourist traps are like a greatest hits album, you'll recognize all the songs but you might miss the depth and complexity of a full album. Exploring the hidden gems is like listening to a band's b-sides. You might discover a new favorite, a sound that resonates with you on a deeper level. So, put away the map, silence the guidebook, and trust your instincts. Let curiosity be your compass, and allow yourself to be surprised by the unexpected. Because in the heart of DC, tucked away from the crowds and the cliches, lies a world of authentic experiences waiting to be discovered. All right, enough with the pep talk, you say. Show me the goods. You want hidden gems? DC practically trips over them. Let's start with the National Museum of American History's less glamorous cousin, the National Museum of Health and Medicine. Sounds like a thrill a minute, right? Trust me on this one. Where else can you find Abraham Lincoln's bullet-shattered vertebrae or learn about the gruesome realities of Civil War surgery? It's a fascinating if slightly morbid glimpse into the history of medicine. Feeling peckish after all that anatomical exploration? Skip the overpriced tourist traps and head to Ben's Chili Bowl on U Street. This DC institution has been serving up Half Smokes, a local sausage delicacy since 1958. It's the kind of place where the food is good, the conversation is better, 
and you might just find yourself rubbing elbows with a local politician or two. Now, for a dose of tranquility amidst the urban jungle, let's escape to Dumbarton Oaks. Hidden away in Georgetown, this historic estate boasts not one but two hidden gems, a world-renowned research library and museum and a stunning 10-acre garden. Wander through meticulously manicured gardens, discover hidden fountains, and lose yourself in the beauty of nature. For you night owls, we're venturing into the dimly lit speakeasy-esque realm of the Gibson. Tucked away on 14th Street, this place is all about craft cocktails and intimate conversation. No blaring music, no TVs, just the clinking of ice and the murmur of voices. It's gritty, it's unexpected, it's quintessentially DC. So far we've explored the fringes, the lesser known, the delightfully obscure. But now I'm taking you to a place so unexpected, so unbelievably hidden in plain sight, that you'll wonder how you never knew it existed. Prepare yourselves because we're going to the Franciscan Monastery of the Holy Land in America. Tucked away in a quiet residential neighborhood in Northeast DC, this place is like stumbling upon a mirage. One minute you're walking down a typical city street, the next you're transported to Jerusalem. Built in the late 19th century, the monastery is a sprawling complex of chapels, gardens, and catacombs modeled after sacred sites in the Holy Land. Step inside and you'll find yourself surrounded by intricate mosaics, Byzantine-style domes, and a sense of peace that feels worlds away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Explore the tranquil gardens, get lost in the labyrinthine catacombs, and marvel at the sheer scale and beauty of the main church, a replica of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. It's an experience that will stay with you long after you leave, a reminder that even in the heart of a bustling metropolis, moments of peace and wonder can be found if you know where to look. But the real magic of the Franciscan Monastery lies in its unexpectedness. It's not on the tourist maps, it's not swarming with crowds, it's just a quiet oasis of serenity hidden in plain sight. And that, my friends, is what makes it so special. Look, anyone can follow a guidebook, anyone can stand in line for hours to snap a selfie in front of a monument, but to truly experience a city, to taste its soul, to feel its pulse, you need to dig deeper. You need to get lost in the back streets, to strike up conversations with locals, to embrace the unexpected detours that life throws your way. That's where the real magic happens, in those unscripted moments in the places where the guidebooks fear to tread. DC is a city of layers, a tapestry woven from history, politics, culture, and the stories of countless individuals who have walked its streets before you. The monuments and museums offer a glimpse into the city's official narrative, but it's in the hidden gems, in the overlooked corners, that you'll find the heart and soul of DC. It's the laughter spilling out of a jazz club late at night, the aroma of spices wafting from a family-run Ethiopian restaurant, the quiet murmur of conversation in a dimly lit speakeasy. It's the unexpected discoveries, the chance encounters, the moments that make you stop and say, this is it, this is what I came for. So go ahead, lose yourself in the labyrinthine streets of DC, wander without a destination, follow your curiosity, and see where it leads you. You might be surprised at what you find. Maybe it's a hidden garden tucked away behind a row of brownstones, a bookstore with that perfect vintage find, or a hole-in-the-wall restaurant serving up the best damn chili you've ever tasted. Whatever it is, let it be a reminder that the best travel experiences are often the ones that are unplanned, unexpected, and uniquely yours. So there you have it, a glimpse into the soul of a city that's so much more than just monuments and museums. Did any of these hidden gems pique your interest? Let me know in the comments below if you've stumbled upon any of these spots or if you have your own DC secrets to share. And if you're hungry for more off-the-beaten-path adventures and hidden gem discoveries, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep exploring.